Hello friends, welcome to Maths Nerd. Today I will teach you how to find out the square root of an improper square and also a decimal number. First we will try to tackle improper squares. Let us start with an example. Find the square root of 23. To find square root, we will need a table. Just like this, a horizontal line and there are the vertical. Since 23 is an improper square, we will find its square root up to one decimal place only. We will find its square root till two decimal places and round off the answer. For that, we have to divide our number into groups of two starting from the left such that there are two groups after the decimal point. We will take 23, 0, 0 and 0, 0. We must find a number whose square will be the closest to 23 but not greater than it. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16 and 5 squared is 25. Since 25 is greater than 23, we will take 4 squared that is 16. We will write 4 both on the left hand side margin and above 23. The product 4 squared that is 16 from 23. The remainder is 7. Let us take the next group down that is 0, 0. Next, we have to double the number written on the left hand side margin. Here, 4 2s are 8. We have to find a number that will take the unit's place beside 8 such that when we multiply the number formed by 8 and the number we have to find into the number should be closest to 700 but not more than it. Let's see this in action. 81 1s are 81. 82 2s are 164. 83 3s are 249. If we continue this, then it might take eons to find out the number. Let's just skip some numbers. We have tried 8. 88 8s are 704 which is closest to our number but also greater than it. 7 seems to be our best bet here. 87 7s are 609. Now, write the number we are looking for that is 7 next to 8 and above 0. Subtract 609 from 700 which leaves the remainder of 91. Again, take the next group down that is 0 0. Next, we have to double the number on the left hand side margin. 87 2s are 174. We have to find a number that will take the unit's place beside 174 such that the number formed when multiplied by the number we will look for will come closest to 9100 but not more than it. First, let me clear up some space. Alright. 1741 1s are 1741. 1742 2s are 3484. 1743 3s are 5229. 1744 4s are 6976. 1745 5s are 8725. This seems quite close, but there's no harm in trying the next. 1746 6s are 10476, but 10476 is greater than 9100. Yep. 5 is doing the trick. We have written 5 next to 174 and above 0. Subtract 8725 from 9100 and our remainder is 375. Let's round off 4.75 to the nearest tenth. 4.75 is almost equal to 4.8. We did it. The square root of 23 is approximately equal to 4.8. Let us solve an example of a decimal number. Here's another example. We'll find the square root of 9.61. The steps of finding the square root of a decimal number are similar to the ones we have already discussed. We need a table again. Now, this is only slightly different. We have to divide the integral part into groups of two from the right side and the decimal part from the left side. Simply, both parts originate from the decimal point. It's 09, the decimal point and 61. We have to find a number whose square is the closest to 9 but not greater than it. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9. Since 3 is our best choice, we'll write 3 both above 09 and on the left column of our table. Next, we have subtracted 9 from 9 and we have got 0 as our remainder. Then, we will take our next group down that is 61. Double the number written on the left side that is 3. 3 2s are 6. Let's find the number that will take the unit's place beside 6 such that when we multiply the number formed so with the number we will look for will come closest to 61 but not greater than it. 61 1s are 61. 1 is the number. We are lucky enough to get our answer in the first try. We will write 1 above 61 but don't forget to put a decimal point. Also write 1 beside 6. Now we have subtracted 61 from 61 and our remainder is 0. Hooray! The square root of 9.61 is 3.1.
if you have any doubts ask them in the comment section thank you for watching this video please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos